This is not about the politics of tax collection. That's another issue. It's also not a personal attack on anyone. It is about the shortcomings of the Inland Revenue. Now, a bit of background for you. In 1999, I started a herbal business, and it was a partnership. The reason it was a partnership was that I wanted to include other complementary therapists in it so that we could provide a health service on a wide range of problems for a wide range of customers. And as a result, my wife was a partner with me in this undertaking. However, after a few years, it became clear that that wasn't going to happen. So we no longer really practiced as a partnership. That's why we're a partnership. And I don't want to be a partnership when it's, go it's come to an end now, in fact. That's why we were a partnership. I was told several times that I had failed to file my tax returns on time. The SA800, which is the partnership tax return, and the SA100, which is the personal sole trader type tax return. This is despite the fact that I took it down to the tax office in person and had it in over the counter. It's impossible to get receipts for these things, so there's no proof other than what's on your CCTV footage, presumably. And so you repeatedly claimed that I had not filed a tax return on time when I did. So, as a result, I did it online. I found the SA100 filing system perfectly simple. However, I then found that partnership returns require you to buy commercial software, but sole trader ones don't. Now, I was not particularly happy about that, but I bought it eventually. But I also wrote you a letter informing you that I wouldn't be able to file my tax return online using the SA800 with the software because I had a computer problem. You said you couldn't trace this letter. Now also, a couple of years ago, I wrote to you informing you that I regarded myself as solely responsible for our tax, tax affairs because of my wife's health problems. So she was no longer effectively a partner and was no longer working for the partnership. You wrote to me saying that you could not trace those letters. I have also attempted to contact you online. I've attempted to contact you by phone. And now I'm attempting to contact you by video on YouTube because there doesn't seem to be any other way of doing it. Your staff are not trained to deal with the online tax return in the local tax offices and therefore can't help me. As a result, you are charging us £800 as a fine. I've paid my share, a large amount of my share of that £800, but you're also charging my wife £800 when my wife is not responsible and could not at the time have been responsible due to her health problems for the financial situation and the tax situation. So I'm making this public. What I'm saying is you need to do something about it. You also need to do something about your spelling. Software in the letter that you wrote back to me was spelt wrong. What kind of people are you employing who can't even spell the word software? How competent is that? Okay, I'm angry with you. I'm angry with you as an organisation. I'm not angry with any individuals. I understand the difficulty of finding work in this sort of situation and so forth. But you were informed that my wife was incapable of filling in a partnership tax return because of her health problems. You were also informed that I had a computer problem. You have ignored my postal tax returns and claimed that I've handed them in late. You are now cha charging my wife an additional £800, despite the fact that I said I do no longer regarded ourselves as a partnership. And although I didn't formally end the partnership, I think that this is unreasonable. And I also am aware that there is a clause in your employment contracts that says you shouldn't bring the inland revenue, HMRC, into disrepute. Well, your very activities of, for example, employing debt collection companies rather than doing it yourself, and the other things that you've done, for example, why do you charge for software for partnership tax returns but not require software for individual tax returns, or why do you not just provide both as an online free filing service, is inconsistent and brings you into disrepute. Now, I don't have any choice but to file my tax via the inland revenue because there is no competition and there should be no competition because that would add to the bureaucracy and make things more expensive, even if it was done privately. And in fact, you do contract things out within your sales, but not to the customers. And I would seriously suggest that you need to get yourself sorted. We have no choice but to file with you and you need to be efficient. You need to spell properly and you need not to persecute people whose income is incredibly low. And just because we happen to be technically a partnership to charge us both, when actually 
that's not feasible and it's entirely unreasonable and you are just so attached to your forms and your way of doing things and will not listen that you force me to do a YouTube video to get in contact with you.